to, to, to give Greece the, the Greek government the bailout loans that then the Greek government will pass on to the, to the banks. Now, she has recalcitrant members of parliament in the federal parliament, and she needs to convince them that this must be done. But she can't come out and openly say that this is all for the benefit of the banks. So she has to couch all this in the language of solidarity. Now, the German taxpayer does not want to show any solidarity with Greece. So the only way of placating the German members of parliament and the electorate that they represent is by saying to them, look, watch those Greeks suffer. Okay? If they suffer sufficiently, then perhaps we should give them some money. So the whole point of reducing the minimum wage from 700 to 600 euros, I mean, there is no macroeconomic rationale whatsoever involved in this. The only point of doing this is to demonstrate to, to the German members of parliament, in particular of the ruling coalition, that, look, the Greeks are bleeding. So let us give them more loans, when, of course, those loans are not meant for the Greeks, they're meant for the banks. Okay, so uh, Merkel, to play to her constituents, is going to continue to bleed the Greek people and so that they are physic visibly uh, suffering because this will then uh, appease her local constituents that she's doing all she can to, to, right. to commit an act of horror, financial horror, to these Greek people. Now, last week, Paul Thompson, head of the IMF mission to Greece, conceded that social tolerance and political support have their limitations. And of course, this was before the home of Greek president was hit with a Molotov cocktail. Uh, but your thoughts on Thompson's statement? Paul Thompson is a tragic figure. He's here supposedly representing the International Monetary Fund. And his script from which he has to recite his lines was written by Germany. Germany has effectively subcontracted to the IMF and to Mr. Thompson in particular the task of imposing onto Greece the austerity measures that Berlin has decided upon. But the IMF does not believe in these austerity measures. So Mrs. Christine Lagarde is making some quite notable and interesting speeches that are arguing against the kind of medicine that Greece is uh, applying to the, to the Greek patient. And yes, Mrs. Thompson is caught in between those two uh, quite diverse uh, mindsets. One is that of, it, of his bosses in Washington, and the other is the German leadership, which has subcontracted Mr. Thompson to affect policies that Mr. Thompson knows are quite poisonous, not only for uh, Greece, but more generally for uh, the global economy. Okay, now, this is interesting. The, uh, the bureaucrats in Brussels have just found another 15 billion euro black hole in Greece, Greek finances. Uh, this seems to be a recurring theme. How many more black holes do you expect to be found in Greek financial universe before it's all over? It really depends on whether Germany is ready to let the Eurozone go. Germany has not uh, um, decided that it wants to reconstitute the Deutsche Mark and get out. They're going to be plugging the black holes uh, with more money, either minted by the ECB or guaranteed loans from the German taxpayer. Greece is neither here nor there. It is not significant or important enough to worry about the state of its, uh, of its macro accounting, national accounting, or indeed of the real economy on the ground. So uh, should Greece have ever taken that first IMF loan bailout package, Giannis? I've made myself incredibly unpopular in this country when in, in April to May 2010, I was advocating that taking that bailout loan was the equivalent of uh, collective suicide and it would constitute uh, one of those instances in world economic history that would be taught as an example to be avoided in economics departments for the next hundred years. How about the uh, recent uh, decision to uh, uh, bar? Uh, um, there's an oil, Iran oil embargo going into Greece. This seems like a really uh, another foolish mistake. But what are your thoughts, Giannis? The Greek prime minister of a year or two years ago, Mr. George Papandreou, who was responsible for. Uh, taking us into the bailout Mark I disaster. Nevertheless, I said one thing before that happened, which was 
quite uh, ahead of its time and I think correct. He said that if we are ever uh, to fall into the bosom of the IMF and the European Union, we're going to lose our national sovereignty. And this is precisely what has happened. Greece had, that is not in control of its fate anymore. National sovereignty is a thing of the past until and unless some new Greek government can simply say no to the bailout loans that are being on offer to the Greek social economy. Right. Now, uh, most Germans, according to a poll last weekend, uh, want Greece to leave the euro. So should Greece leave the euro or should Germany leave the euro? Your thoughts? Well, you know, if there were an opinion poll back in uh, just before the Industrial Revolution and people were asked whether they want the Industrial Revolution, um, most of them would have said no. That didn't stop the Industrial Revolution. Similarly, even if all the Germans and all the Greeks want Greece out of the euro, and I, 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 let me inform you that most Greeks would like to get out of the euro now. We've had enough of being treated like the pariahs of the eurozone. Uh, it's immaterial. This is a currency which should never have entered it. Neither us nor the Germans, for that matter. But tragically, it is a currency that once you enter, you cannot escape. Uh, if we get out of it, we are not going to, to return to where we would have been had we not constructed it. If, instead, the way that this currency has locked our economies together and has created this cascade of insolvencies between banks and states, if Greece pulls out, let's say, or is thrown out, the whole edifice will collapse. Germany is going to enter into a huge recession, and the rest of Europe is going to be, um, you know, an ocean of stagflation. So I think that, we're, again, we are, we are between a rock and a hard place. Uh, the only path that would minimize somehow the human cost of it all would be one of redesigning the euro and taking it back from what I call bankruptocracy and putting it in the service of Europe. You know, it's interesting that despite the crisis, Greece is still buying weapons. They're still spending lots of money on weapons. It's kind of interesting for two reasons. Number one, they don't really have money to buy weapons. Number two, if they really want to fight the war, they should be buying financial weapons, like they should be hiring financial mercenaries to attack Germany with credit default swaps if they really want it to be on a level playing field and try to fight for their survival. But isn't this buying of conventional weapons, again, another huge waste of money by Greece? It's worse than that. You're assuming that the Greek government is deciding what to do. It is not. It's being told by Germany what to do. Uh, if, you, if you look at the purchases, the procurement of weaponry, um, it constitutes a very large proportion of German armaments exports. And in one sense, you know, Germany is saying, well, I'm giving you the money and I'm going to tell you what to do with it. But that money, of course, adds to Greece's debt and also to the profits of the German armaments industry. So it's quite interesting that while hospitals are having to do without bandages, let alone uh, more sophisticated uh, instruments to fight uh, disease, uh, the De Ministry of Defense is not given the opportunity of cancelling the order for German tanks and submarines. Okay, well, um, Germany is going to look like they're going to pick up a lot of nice beachfront property on the cheap. Uh, that's all the time we have for Dr. Uh, Yanis Varoufakis. Thanks for being on the Kaiser Report. Thank you, Max. And that's going to do it for this edition of the Kaiser Report with me, Max Kaiser, and Stacey Herbert. I want to thank my guest, Dr. Yanis Varoufakis. If you want to send me an email, please do so at kaiserreport at rttv.ru. Until next time, this is Max Kaiser saying bye, y'all.